video released late this afternoon of the movie theater shooting Wesley Chapel shows us many new angles of what happened before and after the deadly shot was fired. Our Andrew Dowd brought this video to an expert to get some insight into what the video might tell us. Andrew? Well, this new video shows how all this played out from multiple cameras set up around the movie theater. Immediately after the shooting, we see people run from Theater 10, pointing to someone off screen. But before the shooting, before Chad Olson and Curtis Reeves ever even met each other, we see Reeves and his wife walk in after buying their tickets. Before the shooting, we also see Reeves leave the theater and go talk to an employee at the front desk. In court Friday, we saw this video for the first time when Olson supposedly throws popcorn at Reeves before Reeves pulls a gun and fires. This new angle from a camera on the opposite side of the theater shows people rushing to help Olson after the shooting while Reeves is seated next to an off-duty officer. We spoke to a legal expert about the video this afternoon, specifically about that moment Reeves goes to talk to that theater employee. We also see Mr. Reeves come out of the theater. We see him approach the man who is at the service desk. And it would appear that the man at the service desk, although we had a conversation with him, took no action as a result of Mr. Reeves coming out to see him. And it's very clear Mr. Reeves is, from appearances, agitated. Now, Schwartz says he does not believe the video helps Reeves' claim of self-defense. On Friday, a judge denied bond to Reeves.